you might have come across the terms BTU, ton of cooling, ton of heating, when it comes to barbecuing, your gas bill, heating or air conditioning. The term BTU is an abbreviation. It stands for British Thermal Units. As the word thermal might suggest it to you, a BTU is an amount of heat. And a BTU is a unit of measurement in the feet, pound, second based units of measurement systems. You'll see that BTU is related to feet. Whether you call the systems US customary or imperial or British, depending on where you live, it's one system and, the, and another one going to be the metric where the units of measurements will be based on meters, kilograms, and seconds. Coming up, we're going to compare side by side BTUs with its metric equivalent. So, one BTU is an amount of heat that heats up one pound of water. When you put into this measuring cup two cups of water, that's going to be approximately one pound of water in this measuring cup. So you heat up one pound of water by exactly one degree. And that one degree has to be on the Fahrenheit scale. Here is a handy thermometer. You can see the Fahrenheit scale on it. Just a sec. There we go. You can see an F and a little circle. It's 200 degrees Fahrenheit. 100. Here in the room we have 80. 86 degrees. There. If I rotate it, you can see the Celsius scale on it. It's a different one coming up later. So, one BTU, an amount of heat, heats up one pound of water by exactly one Fahrenheit. And I have to say, in uh, brackets or parentheses, that it has to happen at sea level. Sea level. The reason for it has to do with atmospheric pressure it takes less heat to boil water at higher elevations. So this definition works at standard atmospheric pressure. So if in this measuring cup the temperature of the water goes up from 32 degrees to 33 degrees, then one unit of heat was transferred to the water. It works the other way around as well. If the temperature drops from 32 degrees to 31 degrees, then one amount of heat, one BTU amount of heat was removed from the pound of water. You can also conceptualize this BTU. If you envision one pound of water in this measuring cup, and uh, we burn one matchstick in its entirety, maybe not underneath a plastic container, but just work with the idea here. One matchstick is burnt in its entirety in a way that no heat can escape to the side here but is insulated, insulated and isolated from the environment and all of the heat of the matchstick is transferred to the water, to that one pound of water. You will find indeed at sea level that the temperature of the water goes up by one degree. Uh, this BTU has a metric equivalent and it's going to be based on kilograms. In this container here, if you fill it with one liter of water, you can see 1000 milliliters there on it, that's going to be one kilogram of water. If you heat up that much water by exactly one degree, and that has to be on the Celsius scale, then you did a certain amount of work that's very similar to BTUs and in the metric system the amount of work or heat is measured in joules named after a brilliant Scottish physicist James Prescott Joule. It's not going to be one degree, one kilogram and one joule uh, it's going to be 4,184 joules to be exact and why it's not one joule is because joules are defined from uh, mechanical work and that's another story. If you buy a piece of, a piece of equipment that can do 5,000 BTUs of work for you, 
then uh, that's approximately equal to, I'm gonna make it an arrow, approximately equal to heating or cooling a room that has about an area of 150 square feet. That means that its length is, say, 12 feet and its width is 10 feet. Oh, I made a mistake. That's uh, 15 by 10, not 12 by 10, okay? 15 by 10. That's how you get 150. If you get a more powerful heater or air conditioner, that can do 2000 BTUs for you. And with it, you can heat or cool a room effectively of about a 400 square feet size of room. And that's a 20 by 20 when you look at the width or length or some other numbers that multiply to be 400. Because the concept of uh, BTU and joules are similar concept. They are interchangeable, they have an exchange rate. One BTU equals exactly 1055 joules. Some, sometimes it's 1054, it's close enough. Some people count with 1060, close enough if you want to round it a little bit. Now, that's the BTUs. Now the ton of cooling, ton of heating. These BTUs refer to work. The next concept is power. Power and work are different. Power relate to how fast some work is being done. Say you have a, a, a mountain of dirt to move. If you are very powerful, you can push it all uh, away in, uh, in a few minutes. If you are less powerful, say uh, an ant size animal can still move a mountain bite by bite. The same amount of work can be done, but an ant is a lot less powerful than uh, heavy equipment like bulldozers. Okay, so that's just a little bit of difference between work and power. So when you relate BTUs to time, how fast this heat is being transferred, either in seconds or hours, you get power. The same works with joules, you either relate it to seconds or hours, out of it you get work. In the metric system, out of joules you get kilowatts and uh, kilowatt hours. With BTUs, you get a ton of cooling, and this is how you do it. When this 12,000 BTUs amount of heat is being transferred in 24 hours, then one ton is the rate of cooling or heating. Similarly, to this concept here, if uh, one ton of water is at 32 degrees and you heat it up by one degree over a period of 24 hours then one ton of cooling was done on that one ton of water. If water at 32 degrees Fahrenheit one ton of water is being cooled over a period of 24 hours to 31 degree water which is gonna be turning to ice then one ton of cooling was done on that one ton of water. Because the ton and the kilowatts are somewhat similar concept, they also have an exchange rate and one BTU per hour is exactly the same as 0 0.293 and that is kilowatt hours. Okay, so that's another exchange rate. And uh, here are some numbers to get started with BTU calculations. So that's what a BTU is, and that's what a ton of cooling or a ton of heating is.